58-year-old male, non-HIV immunocompromised patient, status post-liver transplant seven years earlier due to chronic viral hepatitis, presenting with one month history of decreased vision and floaters in his right eye. This uh, photo showed foveal sparing, rheumatogenous retinal detachment with large area of retinal necrosis and retinal infiltration with large retinal break nasally, atrophic oval shape. Also, there is multiple smaller vitreoretinal infiltrate in other area and arterial sheeting posterior to the equator. OCT showed marked intraretinal fluid and ischesis like picture with foveal sparing subtotal retinal detachment. His B scan showed uh, fovea on rigmatogenous retinal detachment picture. This patient diagnosed as progressive outer retinal necrosis and planned for bars plana vitrectomy and vitreous sample and diluted for PCR to roll out TMV versus toxoplasmosis. The BBV here started after we inserted the three trockers and verified the tip of the infusion line. The BBV here, as you notice, that performing with extra precaution to the necrotic retinal area while we detach the posterior hyaloid. Suction here was very low to 50, 100 millimeter mercury to avoid the multiplicity of atrophic posterior breaks. The localized retinal infiltrations and uh, necrosis clearly nasally with large atrophic holes, oval in shape and some retinal hemorrhage. The area was managed to detach the hyaloid toward the equator level, then Shaving of the hyaloid was uh, continue after we injected bare fluorocarbon to keep the uh, posterior pole in place while we detach the posterior hyaloid toward the ora serrata. At the beginning of the 
procedure before we switch the infusion line on, we get undiluted sample for PCR to rule out CMV and toxoplasmosis. Then, as you see here, we did air fluid exchange and under air, GAN cyclovir, 2 mg per 0.1 ml was injected. Then we injected the silicone oil, 5,000 centistock to fill the globe and for uh, longer tamponade for this uh, necrotic area. The endolaser was uh, covered all the uh, necrotic area and uh, the periphery was free of any infiltration or uh, necrosis. The PCR sample showed uh, CMV uh, was positive for CMV, which the, was the diagnosis progressive outer retinal necrosis secondary to CMV retinitis. The patient was referred to his uh, primary physician to start him on antiviral medication. And here you can see the picture immediately after the surgery with a flat retina under silicone oil, some area of retinal hemorrhage secondary to bleeding from the necrotic area. This is uh, his OCT two month post uh, surgery, which showed area of flattening of his uh, macula with some remnant of uh, intraretinal edema. This is also another uh, photo for his retina uh, two months uh, after, which shows pigmented scar healing process of the laser scar with a flat retina. Patient after that did very well and his vision improved to 2060 without correction.